Hi, I'm Dr Nick and I love to help people learn maths and stats. In this video I'll explain how to analyse and comment on trend in a time series. This video focuses on trend and I will cover seasonality in another video. A time series is a set of numerical measurements of the same entity taken at equally spaced intervals over time. Time series graphs are often shown in news media to illustrate what's happening over time. A time series graph has the time scale along the horizontal axis at the bottom and the response variable or measurement on the vertical axis. There is one measurement per time period for a single series. The dots are joined up. Sometimes a succession of bars is used instead of a line. Multiple time series can be shown on a single graph for comparison. The overall behaviour of the series is called the trend. We fit a trend line through the series so we can see better what is going on without the variation or noise. This graph shows the trend line for visitor arrivals to New Zealand from Australia from 2000 to 2020. The data is quarterly so that you can see that there is a seasonal pattern. A quarter is three months or one quarter of a year. The fitted line shows the trend after the seasonality and variation have been accounted for and that is what we're interested in for this video. There are certain terms that are used to describe the behaviour of the trend. When a trend has a positive slope, it means the values are generally increasing over time. You can see that the number of visitors arriving in New Zealand from Australia has increased steadily over the 20 years. We should report that the overall increase for quarterly visitors is from 143,000 to 380,000 over the 20 years. This means that the quarterly visitor numbers have increased by 11.9 thousand per year. A negative slope is when the values are decreasing. A zero slope occurs when the average values are neither increasing nor decreasing. It is sometimes called stable. Sometimes a time series has different segments where the trend behaves differently. I will show this on this graph of visitor arrivals to New Zealand from Japan. We can see that the numbers arriving for the first five years were pretty stable. There is a flat trend line. Then from 2005 to 2012 the number of arrivals is decreasing. You can see this with the negative slope. When we want to write about a trend it's good to quantify the slope. So we would say that the quarterly number of visitors to New Zealand from Japan decreased from 40,000 to 16,000 over the years 2005 to 2011. Note that we also make sure to give the context and the units. Then we would say that there was a gradual increase from 2011 to 2020 going from 16,000 to 23,000 over the nine years. It can be tempting to talk about each change in direction but really we want to keep it to just a few sections. Sometimes there are short times when the values are considerably different from preceding and subsequent values and this is commonly called a spike. A spike can go up or down. I have noticed people on the news media saying that values are spiking when there has been a sharp increase. It may well be that the increase is the start of a trend or a jump or it may be a spike. Until we see what happens next, we cannot really say it is a spike. When we see unusual behaviour in a time series, we need to find out a likely cause for it. For example, the COVID-19 pandemic has caused an unusual drop in visitor numbers to New Zealand as the borders were closed for several months. Another term that is often used is exponential increase. This seems to imply a big increase. The true meaning of exponential is that the relationship between subsequent values is multiplicative rather than additive. When each value increases by the same amount, this is called a linear trend. If each value is multiplied by an amount to get to the next one, this is an exponential trend. You can see on this graph that exponential growth can be quite slow at the start and increase as time passes, whereas linear growth always grows by the same amount. So, when writing about trend, remember, numbers, units, context, correct language. Give values and dates to support your statement. State your units. Make clear what the context is and be careful about terms like spike, exponential and increasing trend. This video was brought to you by Dr Nick. 
Please like it, subscribe and consider supporting our work by becoming a channel member. Help the channel grow and help me help more and more people like you. I am truly grateful for my channel members who continue to help to make these videos possible.